In this video, I will be explaining how to design a trophy in AutoCAD. The program I will be using is called Fusion 360. So to get started, we're just going to insert a canvas like we normally do. Um, this trophy I actually just found around lying around the house. Um, you can use anything, any, any, any kind of uh, design you want to do. Uh, you take a photo of it on your phone, you can just upload it right away to AutoCAD or Fusion 360. Um, so here's this photo I took on my phone. I'm actually using Snapchat to take this. Um, I'm just going to put it right in the middle, just like that. Okay, and with this, now we can kind of have a general idea of what this looks like. Um, I'm going to lower the canvas opacity on the side right here, just so I can see my lines I'm about to make a little better. And now we can begin our sketch. So I'm going to hit Create Sketch, select the front plane, go to the Sketch tab, hit Line, or just type in L. We're actually going to work first with... Um, the trophy itself, and then we'll hit the box later. So actually, real quick, I'm gonna uh, strain that up just while it's, uh, okay, that's a little better. Okay, so like I said, just hit L, and you can actually get right into it. Um, let's start in the middle. We're gonna revolve this trophy. So let's get the midpoint of where it's gonna be revolved around. It looks like there's a solid midpoint for it. From here, we can make the revolve feature um, if we go to three-point arc, we can literally just trace this. And that seems pretty good to me. Um, now the photo I took kind of have it looks like it's curved. Um, if I were to just make this real quick, just to show you what this would look like revolved. That curved feature on top is going to give it a little bit of a curved shape when I revolve it. Just like that, as you can see. And we don't actually want this. Um, it doesn't matter too much because we're going to be shelling this anyway. So what we can do is actually go back to this. Um, I'm going to hit T to trim. Just trim those lines off. Oop, sorry. I got to go back to This was a different sketch. So um, I can delete this. I just made that. Um, that initial sketch, I'm just going to right-click it and go to edit. Um, and now I can start working with this. So I'll hit T again, trim it, trim the corners. Um, this actually doesn't even have to be... Uh, curved, it can be straight, and it'll get the same effect. So I'm going to hit L for line, go across. I do want the distance though for it. And right, like I said, roughly this doesn't have to be too perfect. Um, you can go however you want with this. This is just a rough design. Okay, so once we have this with the length, now we can kind of bring that down into that curved structure. So we're going to go to sketch, arc, three point arc, select this point. It looks like the arc goes all the way down here. And then what we want to do is just kind of trace that. Okay, so it looks like we have the top uh, tr trace part of the trophy. Now we're going to get the bottom. Um, this gets a little tricky down here. This has a little bit of curved feature. So I'm going to halfway, I'm just going to bring that out just a bit. And then I'm going to bring that down and just bring that back around. And then for this part, we're just going to slowly bring that in. And then we're going to bring that out one more time. And you can go as much as you want with this. Um, this is all personal preference, however you want your trophy to look like. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and it looks like we have one more curve coming down here. It's a big one. And just roughly trace it. From here, we're going to do that same straight across feature. I know this is uh, curved, but this is a base point. So like that top piece, when we curved it, it'll make it come up a little bit. We don't want that to happen. So we can actually just make this go right across. Um, and from here, we can bring that up. If you want to, we can even uh, bring this maybe a little further and then maybe do a uh, curved feature to this. And let's revolve that to see how that looks. So I'm going to select my profile. Oops. Looks like I did not stop my sketch. So I got to stop my sketch first. Then I need to go to create, revolve. And if this isn't happening, if, if there's nothing that's being on a point, it means your lines aren't connected. And I can see up here, that looks like I did not connect my lines. So I'm going to go back, right click on my sketch, edit sketch, and then just connect those lines. And now we have a plane. So I'm going to create, Revolve, select that plane, go to the ax axes down here, click on that, and then select that midpoint that you want to revolve around. And there's our basic structure for the trophy so far. 
we'll make this a new component. Hit OK. Next, we're going to want to hollow this out on the inside. So we can go to Modify, Shell, click on that top piece, and then just pull it down until you find something that you can work with. Let's try point 0.3. Point 0.1, point 0.2. Looks like point 0.1 will do. So now the inside's hollow. Now to get these little bars coming out, this can be a little bit tricky. What we're going to want to do is trace it just like we were, but then we're going to want to extrude it like a square. So we're going to create sketch. It's like that same plane that we've been working with. And then once again, just, just trace. I'm going to use my three-point arc here. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can keep working with any kind of shape you want for this, any kind of design. It's, it, it all works. This is just basically a rough, uh, a rough draft, a simple, fast modeling that we can do. Um, and the photo is used more merely for getting a basis of where these curves are happening at, so we don't have to constantly be looking or guessing even where, where, where we need to put these. So as you can tell, this is a very quick thing I'm doing. I'm just going down very, very smoothly and changing these. I'm only going to make this go down to here because it looks like it starts to curve. And we'll go to arc again. Create a nice little arc. Coming all the way down. And then we're going to want to connect this with another arc. Now the tricky thing about this is you want to make sure that these connect still. Um, so we're going to want to bring this up and connect it. And we're going to want to bring this up and connect it so we get that plane. So now we can stop our sketch. We have that 2D figure of that piece coming out. We're going to extrude it or hit E. Um, and we're going to want to do, for the direction, we're going to want to do symmetric because we want to come out on both sides. And what symmetric does is you can see if we were just to do one side, it would just come out on one side. But when we do symmetric, oh, when we do symmetric, it's now coming out on two sides. And we're going to make this maybe 0 0.2. 0 0.2 seems pretty good. We'll join that. So now it's part of our structure. If you wanted to, we can even uh, fillet these edges around it. And that'll give it a little bit of a round. Um, I'm just going to leave it how it is because I, I actually like the way that came out. Um, and then if we want to, we can even actually, did I? Let me check one thing. I'm going to hit edit in this feature. So if I join this, I actually want this to be a component within itself. So I'm going to make that a new body and then hit OK. So now you can see that became a whole new feature. Um, and why this is handy is because we're going to go to modify. I'm sorry, I always get create and modify mixed up. We're going to create. And we're going to add a mirror. Instead of faces, we're just going to click body. And then that body that we just made, we're going to click that. And the mirror plane is going to be the exact same plane that we revolved it around, which is that green axis right there, or this plane itself. And as you can see, that's going to make our second piece. So we don't have to redo that. Now, now we're going to be working with the base. And the base, we can go in any direction we want. Um, we have the top piece done, which is the hard part. I'm actually going to get rid of this canvas for now. And I'm going to work on this bottom piece because that's where the base is connected to. So if we want to get a size reference to on how, how, how this canvas is going to work, we can attach another one that's going in the opposite direction so we get kind of a 3D look. So let's go to attach canvas, face. I'm actually, instead of selecting this face this time, I'm going to select this face. Use that same image. that up just a bit and that's pretty good okay, so now we kind of get a 3d image of that box so we know length and width kind of what's going to be happening with it so we're going to go to create a new sketch select that bottom 
get rid of the canvases. Let's click this bottom piece down here. And now we're going to start making our, our box. And it looks like our box goes out from here to here, which is five millimeters. And they usually don't take uh, measurements into consideration, but just to make sure it's even, we're going to also make this five millimeters. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those canvases so they're out of the way. So that's five millimeters. This will be five millimeters. Oh, that was 4.5. You know, sometimes uh, yeah, I don't get it right the first time. Um, and you'll, you'll pick up practice as you keep learning AutoCAD. Um, you can also do this with the rectangle feature. Um, but I'm just taking you through a basic line feature of how to make a box. Um, so we're making these all five millimeters. Um, and now what we can do is connect these points. And start to kind of get a basic shape for this box that we have. I'm going to select each corner. Just drag that along. I don't need to click anything. Just drag it. Connect it. Click. Connect it. Click. Click, drag it down, don't click anything now. Let this just drag, let your mouse drag, trace it, trace, connect, connect. So now we have that box. We go to Stop Sketch. <coughs> Hold down Control so we can select multiple things at once. Control this whole box's area. It's going to start wanting to control these because these are separate planes, um, but you, you, you want to select this whole thing. Um, from here, we can extrude this down. We're going to want to look at our canvases again. And it looks like that is a pretty good distance. I'm going to, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good distance. So we'll make a new component from this. Okay. Um, let's look at our canvases again. It looks like, let me get rid of my bodies for a second. Um, if you ever want to hide anything, you can just click on the uh, light bulbs and it'll hide it. It looks like there's a little indent coming from this. So if we want to work with that, we can actually go hit offset or create a sketch. Um, go down to sketch and hit offset, which is O. Um, and we're just going to click on that outer one, and just offset it a bit, just a bit. Hit OK. And then that plane that we made, we're going to hit E or extrude and just extrude it down just a bit. That's probably a good distance. Okay, and from here, it looks like there's a little bit of a bigger base. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing again. Go to this bottom plane, create a sketch, select that plane. I'm gonna hit O for offset. And then this time we're gonna make it bigger. And I like that size right there. Um, so now that we have that plane, we're gonna wanna control, left click, control, left click, select the whole thing and hit E for extrude and then bring that down some more. From here, we can go into more details. It looks like this trophy is a little bit, um, has a little bit of a fillet or fillet. I always, I always forget the, the correct pronunciation for that. But we're going to want to go to uh, fillet um, and hit F. And then we're going to want to hold down Control and select all of our corners in the bottom piece. And when you before you left click the corner piece, make sure you're holding on control so it selects multiple. From here we can just pull that and see how it uh, how it looks. A little curved. Um, that trophy actually is a chamfer, not a fillet. Um, but if you want to round it out, you can also round it out. I think rounded out probably looks a little nicer. Um, if you wanted to uh, chamfer it, you could just use go to modify and use the chamfer. What chamfer does is makes it this might not be the best piece to do it on. Makes it uh, more of a plane as as opposed to being curved. Um, but if we want, we can actually make that top piece a chamfered, add a little more detail. And we don't have to follow the exact structure of this. We're just simply modeling it. So we'll make that point too. Okay, and let's add back in our top piece. Make sure everything's showing. Hide our canvases. And boom, we have a very simple, basic structure for our trophy. Now we're going to want to bring this into render. 
Um, the bottom piece is going to be wood, so we're going to go to the little colored bar right here, appearance. And let's look through our materials we can use. I'm going to use wood, finished. Um, I think uh, a little cherry glossy might look good. Let's, let's try that out and see how it looks. I do like that. That's pretty nice. And then for the top, for the actual trophy itself, I'm going to actually make this out of gold um, to signify a first place trophy. So we'll just use gold polish um, and then apply that to all the body features on top. Okay, so now we're looking at a very uh, structure of the trophy. Um, I'm going to mess with the scene settings a bit. Um, let's get some skylight on it. So now we're looking down on the trophy. If we were to go to settings, we could also add a reflection to the ground. So it kind of reflects. Um, if, we, we, if we even want to change the perspective a little bit, that'll kind of bring us into the trophy more. Um, so we can change the focal length. And the focal length can give this perspective. So we can make this a big trophy. Um, I'm actually just going to leave it at uh, roughly 65. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, and then is there anything else we want to do to this? Let's see. If we wanted to, we could change where the lighting is coming from. Um, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Um, let's see, Scott, again. Um, and that would be coming from scrolling down. That is. Here's it's hiding. It's hiding. Position. So we click position and then we can change where the light comes from. Um, but I'm actually okay with that right now. So I'm going to render this and then I'll be back. Uh, I'll cut it and it'll be back. So there we have it. That is the trophy we just designed in AutoCAD Fusion 360. Um, the rendering came through. I changed a couple things about it uh, while I was rendering. Um, the, the background was a little too much on the trophy and the gold. I think um, the environment background looked a little better onto it. Um, I can go into that in another video more about how to do lighting, um, but it's really just a feel if you want to play around with it, um, see how the light reflects off your object, change your perspective. Um, but this is the very basic uh, idea of how to quickly design a trophy in AutoCAD. Um, leave comments of what you think, um, leave comments of anything else you'd like to see designed, and thanks for watching.